Thomas the Hero This is the story of when Thomas the Tank Engine discovered that you don't have to fly high to be a hero. Thomas the Tank Engine was going about his work as usual, when he heard a high-pitched whistling sound up in the sky. Whatever can that be? he said to himself. Thomas looked up and saw a small plane darting overhead. He had never seen anything like it before. Peep peep! called Thomas, but the plane didn't hear him. The plane was soon out of sight. I must find out about that flying machine, Thomas said to himself. That night in the engine sheds, Thomas asked James and Percy if they had seen anything flying overhead that day. We keep our eyes fixed on the tracks, they said. That way we're really useful engines. The next day, Thomas was determined to be a really useful engine, but he couldn't help looking up for the plane. He was just thinking that he'd never see it again, when he heard that same whistling sound. This time, he just had to follow it. The plane may have been small, but it was fast. Must keep up, must keep up, Thomas puffed to himself. It was working. Thomas was catching up with the plane. The plane came down to land on an airstrip near the railway tracks. A little nervously now, Thomas came to a stop beside the plane. He admired the whirring propeller and the big red dots painted on its wings. I'm Thomas, said Thomas shyly. I'm Mitchell the Spitfire, but you can call me Mitch, the plane replied. I've been practicing for the flypast to celebrate the end of World War II. Mitch explained that he used to be a fighter plane and had helped to win the Battle of Britain. Thomas was very impressed. He wished he could fly and be a hero too. Back in the sheds, Thomas told the other engines about his new friend. Eyes on the tracks! Eyes on the tracks! They said crossly. That night, Thomas's dreams were full of spitfires diving through the skies. He dreamt that he was flying with them, keeping people safe. The next day, Thomas was in charge of taking passengers to the air show for the big fly past. As he arrived, Thomas could see Mick, and next to him was another vintage plane. That's a Hawker Hurricane, Thomas's driver told him. Hurricanes and Spitfires were the heroes of the Battle of Britain. The show was about to begin. The planes revved their engines and rattled along the runway. With just, a, with just a little wobble, they lifted into the sky. Thomas couldn't resist following them. But Mick seemed to be in trouble. His engine spluttered. He came lower and lower and lower until with a big splash! He made an emergency landing in a duck pond. What shall we do? asked Mick as he started to sink lower and lower into the muddy pond. No one will know where I am. I can help, I can help, puffed Thomas as he hurried back to fetch the breakdown train. It's an emergency! he said as he pushed the breakdown train back to Mitch. A dripping Mitch was lifted out of the pond. 
The Fat Controller was proud of Thomas. Thanks to you keeping your eyes on the skies, you were able to help the Spitfire, he said. The planes that took part in the Second World War had to be alert. Like them, you are a true hero, he added. Thomas was pleased to hear that after a few minor repairs and a new coat of paint, Mick, the Spitfire, was able to take part in many more flypasts. He was even invited to London, where he flew low over the River Thames. As he looked down at the river, he remembered the time Thomas the Hero had rescued him from a very wet landing.